Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here, back with more of our Oakland A's franchise. This is going to be all about this series with the Angels because it is such a pivotal series. We're going to start game one of this four game set. I don't care if the Aviators have that many because Stupak. Tanaka is going down to double A and Franco is going down to class A. It's all on the line here. Joe Hay can't play this here. We're going against a right-handed batter. Right-handed pitcher. Joe Hay has to rest. We don't have a choice. Let's give Baez a rest. Let's bring in Thurston. Now let's just replace this with this and let's go into into it. Let's do it that. All right, going against Sonny Gray, Kyle Hendricks. Going to have another year with 200 innings pitched, which is going to be nice. And they are a game back. So this is for the tie. Can we extend it to two games or will they tie us in the division? It's a massive game. Hendricks, 12 and 6, 29 starts, 3.45 ERA, and 193 innings pitched at 1.14 whip. Hendricks has pitched well.
That's just a great hit. You cannot teach that. That is just a good hit. Well, we already started the game. Down one run. And we are struggling at scoring runs right now. That's not good. What is that uh, little stutter step out there, Winker? He didn't even attempt to go out to ball. It was already damn near on the outfield by that time. Ooh, that's a good pitch. It's foul. It's already three to zero, and we haven't even come up to bat yet. Wow. This is a collapse of epic proportions. Sunny Gray, four point zero five ERA, twelve. We just need to bat. It doesn't matter what the stats are. We just need to bat well, and right now we're not, so. God. That is my luck right now. Great PCI placement. A little bit behind it, sure. And it goes straight to Rendon. And I mean straight at him. No, go back. Batting four. The left fielder. Jobinick. Miss. What am I doing? kidding me a perfect perfect right at the right fielder right at him like you cannot get more screwed by a game than that a perfect perfect And the right fielder doesn't even have to move. Batting nine, the designated hitter, 
pass. Nice. That's a ball. Okay. I got two one the count. I don't know about that, Blue, but all right. That's a good pitch. Come on, Olsen. Take that. Take that pitch right in the leg. Goodbye. Okay. Three to one. It's 34th of the season. Ooh, that's a good slurve. Just outside the zone, but enough that it probably would have been called against me. Batting seven. The second baseman, Jeremy Ironman. One ball, two strikes, Cal. Not close. Got to take that pitch. Got to take that pitch. Those two pitches weren't even close. Oh, that should have been a strike. What a fantastic pitch. All right. Oh, that's a strike, man. That's a good one. That is a fantastic strike. Now, let's not do a curveball across his face and hang it. I got to count two and two. Do we, as Kyle Hendricks, have to place that changeup. Without that changeup, we have no strikeout pitch. No, wow. Two, two balls like that. I guess he tagged him. All right. Now batting. Shortstop. Tim Anderson. You don't have the wheels to get there. Castillo would, but he tore his ACL. We still don't have the speed on the outfield, and it shows.
Against the shift, that's gonna be caught. Too much flare. Or not enough flare, really. The batter, number three. Shortstop. Oh yeah, this is the Basson that uh, had the line drive to Rendon. And now we hit a ground ball. Good with 80 to 85 percent of PCI straight to Rendon. Come on, man. Give me a break, game. Like, please, just give me something. Give me a break. Come on, Santander. Take that pitch. Alright, that works. The right fielder, number 33, Jesse Winter. That's right to the left fielder. That's close. But we can't get a break here. This ref is rough right now. No questionable pitches. We just keep on getting absolutely screwed. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. There's two more, and this game is just about done, too. It's on a fourth inning, but we can't score runs right now. And we've given up five. Ball travels 50 feet. That's caught. Right. That's 90% and in good. And right to left fielder. Not right at him, but... Dude, no breaks in this game. And he doesn't even have to hit it square, and he is hitting it, like, for triples. Oh, now you're going to call that. Blue? Thanks. But like I said, since we don't have a changeup right now, we have no way to get out of this inning. Or get out of any innings. And that's what kind of screwed us. We wouldn't have been able to locate the changeup. It is Hendrix's. Wow, you got to be kidding me! It's not at all where that was supposed to set down. Need. At this rate, we are going to have a lot of turnover with this team. Jesus, now we have an air. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna allow you guys just to, I'm not gonna let you guys just sit through this. This is just un. Yeah, that's it. That's it for this one for sure. Yeah, that was disgusting. All right. Against Bueller. Another great pitcher. are pitching 18th in the league, they're 17th. Okay. Like I said, this series, the series is it all right here. Let me give the division lead ability to Jesus Lazardo. Winkers and left today. Batting second, the right fielder, Steele Walker. Ah. No. I missed that. All right, going against Walker Bueller, 3.07, 17-5. We certainly, this is a very, very good team. 
And we are on the downtrend right now. We have to get back in it. Well, that was pretty close. That wasn't. What a great two seam. Come on. That has some carry. Well. See, I'll take that, because that's, that's a good hit. I'll take that. I'll take those kind of hits, even if it's uh, an out. Because it means we're getting some progress here. Ooh, what a great cutter. Means we're getting the ball at least downfield when it comes to getting the bat on the ball. Ooh. Ah, uh, rolled over it. What a great dig at first. Really? Let that go through. Don't even try to do that, Lazardo. That's an easy play for Baez at second. I don't know about that. That was hung. No, it wasn't. That was down. Uh, not exactly where I wanted it, but that's still a good pitch, and he just drilled it, something I can't do. And that's another thing. If Lazardo can't locate his changeup, he can't get players out either. So... Because his breaking ball, his curveball, is so wild, and that was operator error. Really? That was actually a very decently thrown ball, and... It was four feet away from where I wanted the ball, at least. 
Okay. Yeah, I missed it completely. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Red. That's a great slider. Come on. Batting six. The second baseman. Javier. Baez. That's a ball. Whoops. Is Rendon just going to foul every ball off? Dude, his PCI is 70% of the strike zone. Jeez. Like, how is that even remotely fair? And he hardly hit that. Oh, yeah, he strike out like that matters. It's three to zero. Jeez. So like his entire thing would take up the entire like middle square and mine is a small portion. Mine might take up a, like 80% of a square. That's a walk. What am I doing? We're just giving Bueller innings right now.
batting none. This is a nightmare. Okay. Person hasn't hit a home run for us since like before the All Star break, user wise. And that is in dead center, easily playable. I did not miss the meter that much. Why does it vary so much like that? That makes zero sense. Strikeouts are very hollow right now when we're down three to zero. All right, come on. The Cubs have three or four of the top pitchers in the league right now. Wow. Nope. Routine fly ball. Good, but not in the PCI. And that's the thing. If I were to change the PCI off, some of you might actually uh, ask that. But if I did that, we wouldn't. Uh, we wouldn't lose. If we went with just straight ability. So that's what I did in my Cubs uh, franchise a couple years ago. And, well, we won out of six seasons. I think we won four World Series. So... I think we even won the World Series in the first year. All right, come on. Uh, that's a routine fly ball again, of course. That 
Our pitchers do just do not look sharp at all. Our team just looks exhausted from playing. Operator air. The batter number fifteen, second baseman, with Merrifield. Ball inside. I don't know why I had that much movement, but all right. Dude, that is a tad late. Why is that four feet outside the strike zone? And then that's a tad late, and that's right down the middle? What? All right. Not at all what I want, but all right. A little early, and that is not where I placed that ball. Doesn't matter. He's looking at it. We've struggled to score runs, and it shows. Javi Baez, 3-2 count. Can we at least get a walk here or something? That is a fantastic pitch. That's a uh, probably not a strike. Good timing, PCI is not there, and it's right to the shortstop. You can't make that up. It's like a playoff series. We're definitely not playing like a playoff team right now. Stay fair. Eight feet. That's foul.
Missed the home run, missed the single right to the shortstop. That just hurts. Some beats that one out. The center fielder, number twenty five. Give me Garcia. Okay. Oh, wow. I mean, the swing there. Come on. Give me a hit from that. That's a routine fly ball, right? I don't even think it's possible to get my PCI there, is it? No. Okay. Well, it kind of is, but not as not where I thought. You've got to be kidding me. That is it. That's a good and a partial PCI hit. And it is... Wow. Just wow. Come on, guys. Get a little strength behind your bats. Like, you guys just look weak compared to the Angels out here. Okay, that's it for Lazardo. That's a ball. Now that the third baseman, Chris Ryan. Two balls, one strike, the count. Routine fly ball. Most of PCI, good hit. And if the AI did that, it would be a double. But for me, sky high. Easily, can of corn out in the outfield. The 
This is just embarrassing. Routine fly ball yet again. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the athletics. Number 52. Jonathan. Holder. Maybe if Bias doesn't get hurt. We get more of a lead. Second base. Now back. Right fielder. Steel. Walker. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Angels, number 53, Amir Gill. Wow, Amir Garrett as a setup? You gotta be kidding me. No wonder this team is so good. Good slider. Now back the designated hitter, Tommy Edmund. Oh, what do you know? Good timing, full PCI, straight to the center fielder. Jeez. Game, please. It hurts. Stop. Stop. It's abusing me right now. This is abusing me worse than all Madden. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. All right, Aaron Sleggers. Number 57, Aaron Sleggers. Oh, this is the overhand throw that always kind of messes with me.
I can hardly get over there. Ah. I should have four home runs in this game. And that should be another one. It's like right down the middle, right here. PCI good and at least he throws it in the dugout. The batter, the first baseman, Matt Olsen. Oh wow, what a good changeup. That's right at the shortstop. I think that was a pretty good contact hit, too. It's a two run shot and a solo shot, maybe? We avoid the sweep. We lose the Texas. And our double A team at least won the playoffs. We're one game ahead. Childs gets that. One game ahead. One game ahead. Okay, this is what it's going to come down to. The last game of the season, the Rockhounds come through and play Springfield and beat them and take the championship. Okay, so we're going to have a lot of movement up from AA to AAA. Those guys played absolutely outstanding, it looks like. Let's look at their stats. In the playoffs, Chambers, guys did spectacular. Watkins. Wow, Watkins. Look at the power on Chambers against left-handed uh, pitchers. Montez was hurt for a lot of the year, but get some stuff going there. Fletcher Paxton. 29 at-bats. Three RBIs, one stolen base. Had a 310 in the playoffs. Wow. Coleman at 20 at bats, but 450. 
Jose Cervantes, 385, two home runs, four RBIs, 10 hits. Patrick Matoya. I did miss Patrick Matoya in upgrading him. Upgrading his D potential. For the pitching, Thompson went one and one. Ten innings pitched, 0.9 ERA. Ferris, 0.75 ERA in 12 innings pitched. Tanaka, one win in eight innings, so he only pitched one game. Herb was in there. Wow. A lot of good stuff there. Two saves by Severino. Okay. Orlando Murillo got the other save. Um, Severino, no earned runs. Murillo did pretty decent. Diaz looked like he gave up some runs there. Same thing with the James Rod. The road. Okay. Great one. Our Rock Hounds, our double A team, at least did something or another. That, that's some good stuff. We'll take it. Triple A, not very good. Last game of the season. Who do we give it to? I think we give it to Shohei. Yeah, I think we give it to Shohei. Would he be ready to pitch? He will not. So it's just Childs or Tabor. I think we give the Childs in that case. Actually, yeah, I would go with Childs with this one. Home runs for nine kind of hurt, but I think he's played pretty good down the stretch. So I think that's what we end up doing. See if we can get that uh, 11th win. Seven blows saves for Hendricks. That hurts.
Zambrano has played well in 50 innings. Yeah. Simon so Charles will be the one to get the ball in the final game of the season. If we win, we're in. If we lose, it's up to if the Angels lose. Otherwise, at 91 wins, we can either match last year's at 92 and 71, or we uh, match was technically uh, 91 and 71. Oh no, we, we... It says we won a division. Oh, we are a game and a half above the Angels right now. Do they have two games left? They are done for the season, actually. So I take that back. We have won the division. Okay. We have won the division. So. In fact, we're going to sim this game. Okay. This is how it looks. We do get. Well, it's not the one seed. Wow. We had a fall from grace from multiple teams. Wow, okay, let's look at what it, the standings. So the Angels and the White Sox make it. The Yankees fall. Okay, so the White Sox and Angels will play each other in that game. Twins will play almost with 100 wins. The Twins will play the winner of the White Sox and the Angels. And the Rays at 92. We have the possibility of advancing when we play the Rays. On the other end, Nationals against the Diamondbacks. And whoever wins that goes and plays the Dodgers. The Brewers against the Mets. So, let's kind of look at what we are facing here in the roster. So, Otani, Lazardo, Tabor, Childs, Kopech. Hendricks, okay, that's that. Um, Fry Leitzinger, Zambrano, okay. Ronaldo Hernandez, Thurston, Brito. I want Chris Bryant on the playoff roster, obviously. Toro will be up there. Ironman will be up there. He is on the injured list, so it doesn't matter. Will Benson will be up at the MLB next year, but not this year. It's not his time, I don't think. But next year, I think he'll be up. Winker. Sone. 
got even better. I think that was possible. Burrito at the MLB level. No, I'd rather have Chris Taylor. Thurston. Okay, Thurston will be up here. Olsen. 10 contact against left-handed hitters. Nice. That Collins got better. The Chance Sanchez, that's nice. Oh, I'd say it got even better, man. Zambrano, wow. Otani got a lot better as well on both sides. Okay. Gotten better. Espinoza. I mean, I don't know who's gotten better overall. In reality, Zach Thompson's got better than all three of them. Just kind of crazy. Will Benson, though. Next year, the guy is going to come up to the MLB level, and he will be starting in one of the outfield positions. My guess is he'll be starting in um, maybe center. Or maybe Castillo will start in center. Winker will be the DH. Benson will, will start playing right. I know Smith can play first, though, too. I don't know, it's going to be a lot of questions. A lot of questions for next season. Might be the fact where Mackenzie Thurston plays for Zach Collins. And that's the move we make. But 
But Collins was our only all star. So what does it turn into? Twenty seven home runs, seventy five RBIs. Santander, though, is switch hitter. That's what makes him so valuable. Did we have Castillo play? Well, he's batting 187. So maybe Castillo does start at Triple A and Benson comes up. Winker becomes DH. Or Winker plays left field. Dominic Smith becomes the DH. Santander plays center. That probably is the key to it all. But first. We have Tampa Bay on the on the list. So the Angels beat the White Sox to play Minnesota. The Nationals beat the Diamondbacks to go play the Dodgers. And the Dodgers already took game one. And over in the other series, the Mets have taken game one from Milwaukee. So pitching rotation. We're going to start it with none other than Shohei Atani. Atani is going to start as the first pitcher. Then we'll go to Lazardo. Then we'll go to Hendricks. Then we'll go to Tabor and Childs. So that's how we'll start the series because I want Otani to bat the rest of the time the rest of the series because it'd be Otani then Otani would actually I'd like to have Otani in the second game maybe Yeah, let's do that one. So Tani will be in the second game. So he'll bat the first game, pitch the second game, then he'll have a day off, then he'll be able to bat the rest of the series as we go to Hendricks, Lazardo, and if we go to it, if we have to go to Tani again, it comes back to game five to Otani. So be Lazardo. Otani, Hendricks, Lazardo, if you have to go back, Otani. Our lineups then, it's going to be Otani batting DH. It's left-handed.
There's Bryant's gonna play third. Okay. So that's how that's gonna go. On the other end, let's see what we're facing. So it's the Rays. Michael Fulmer, okay. Yanni Torinos. 3.12 ERA, okay. Ryan Yarborough. Shane McClanahan, who did not play a game this season. He's gonna be starting instead of uh, Gieselman. Christopher Sanchez. Didn't play very well. That's why he's our number five. Okay. As for the lineups for them, DJ LeMahieu, Miles Straw, Ronda Franco, Franmel Reyes, Miguel Andujar, Junior Valalobos. Junior Valalobos coming up. And wow, that guy can hit. Andreas Diaz, Francisco Mejia, Nino Gonzalez, uh, Greg Jones, Jeremy Pena, Michael Gigliotti, uh, Jake Hager, Francisco Alvarez. Okay. And so that will be what we have to face off in game one of the ALDS. Let's see what the league leaders are. Hendricks had the most innings pitched this season with 213 innings pitched. Okay. We'll look at the awards later after it. Injured list. Castilla is still three to four months. Sanchez is still five to six months with dislocated ankle. And Almonte is still one to two weeks. So if I wanted Almonte up for this series for speed on the base pads, he's not there. But we do have some speed, I think. Make sure. Toro fifty one. Thurston is twenty seven. Taylor sixty six. Edmund seventy eight. Ironman seventy seven. So these are two speed guys. All right. So that will end our episode. In the next one, we will go into some October baseball, and I am very, very concerned about how we finish the season. But it still means we got in to the playoffs. I'm not surprised by that. We had a very strong first half. And, well, it shows. So, yeah. Thank you all for joining me. And I will see you guys next time. Later.